Hi, my name is Hyson Talapa. Welcome to Top Stories on Crucial TV. We have a story on Bernou Governor who paid an unscheduled visit to the specialist hospital in Medugri. I'll take the story right away. The Bernou Governor, Professor Babagana Umara, has ordered the immediate suspension of the medical director and four doctors from the specialist hospital and Umaru Show Hospitals in Meduguri after he paid an unscheduled visit to the hospitals on Monday night and found out that the doctors were absent from duty. This report is from the Punch newspaper. Now, in reacting to this story, it's a very interesting story. The governor um, paid a visit to these hospitals at midnight between the hours of 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. And he took everybody by surprise. He visited the hospital and he met no doctor on the ground. This is very typical with our Nigerian hospitals. I believe if every governor would want to take in the steps of the Borono State Governor, it will reveal the rot in our hospitals. You go to hospitals, you discover that um, doctors who are supposed to be on duty are not available. They are actually attending to their private business. Can you imagine? Now, the governor of Borono made his appearance at the hospitals and he discovered that there was no doctor on ground, not even one. And you know Borono is usually the heat of Boko Haram insurgency attacks. They should be expecting emergency cases, right? But these doctors decided not to show up. And for God knows how long this has been happening. This must have been happening for a very long time. Now, this new governor has decided to take the bull by the horn and ensure that he puts an end to this kind of bad behavior from our doctors. These are the same doctors that will cry that they are not being paid adequately, even when they get much money compared to our Nigerian teachers. Yet, they are being paid, but they are not delivering the services for which they are being paid for. Now, the governor has ordered the suspension of the chief medical director and four other doctors. One very annoying thing about this was that in the emergency ward, they do not even have a duty roster. So the governor was trying to check um, who was on duty or who is, on, who is on duty. But lo and behold, there was no roster. So he couldn't even identify, what am I supposed to call? This is so, so terrible. Then he decided to get some of the numbers of the doctors, put a call across to them. And none of them took his call. What? The call of the governor. Perhaps they were thinking it's one patient that was calling, or one nurse that was calling uh, them for to come to the hospital for an emergency case. But it was the governor, the governor of the state. But right now, they've been suspended. In my own view, in my opinion, I believe this suspension should run for at least three months and their salary should be suspended while they serve suspension. Also, if they do not have genuine reasons why they were not on duty, I think they should be fired. Yes, that's hard, but I think they should be shown the way out. There are countless doctors, well-trained, that do not have jobs and they're waiting for this opportunity to take on jobs. So, if they're not ready to work for the government, I think they should just focus on their private business and allow those who are ready to work to come on board. Yes, I, I spoke with someone and the person said it was IBB who started this Wahala. That during IBB's reign in 1984, he approved that doctors can run their private business. He saw no problem with that. So right from then, it has encouraged doctors to own private hospitals, private clinics. And you know, naturally, where your investment is, that's where your heart will be. But if you must focus on the investment, then you, sh you, you must have to resign from the government employment role. All right, that's a much we can take on this story. I urge other governors to emulate what Governor 
Baba Ghana Umara has done and I believe all other sectors in Borno State will sit up. If other governors should, should also do this, it will serve as a wake-up call to our public servants to do the needful, to do what is right. If you are paid, you must deliver the job. Thank you for listening. It is Top Stories on Crucial Television. My name is Harrison Talaba. See you soon.